Hello everybody, it's not theme time just yet, but welcome to Zombie Nation. Well, today I'm talking about the new episode of The Walking Dead, Infected. So someone was infected, what was his name? Harry Potter, but most people call him Patrick. But yeah, so this is what he did. He was in the shower, he passed out, his eyes were bleeding. Well, he, when he's finally waking up from his little nightmare he gets up and it looks like he's gonna go into that cell with that one girl that was with Tyrese but then there was a man that was snoring so he went into that cell guy's still snoring he gets up to him and then he starts eating his throat so this guy's trying to freaking sleep Mr. Potter and you ate out his damn throat, and then you ate out his intestines. You are nasty as hell. So then he becomes a zombie. He goes out to somebody else. And then there's an outbreak inside. Rick's still not want to use his gun. So that's no good. But he gets in there to clear out the cell. And it's actually Daryl that kills Harry Potter dead to the ground. But she actually attacks him. Glenn, so he saves Glenn. Also, the outbreak causes Michonne to want to come back in after she just left to go, like, go get supplies or whatever the hell she's doing. And she falls over. The zombies get on top of her. And, um, Carl shoots one of them in the head. He even tells his dad, I'm sorry I had to use a gun. I guess he wasn't supposed to use a gun anymore, but it's fine. His dad didn't seem to kill too much. But he does realize that that Patrick, better known as Harry Potter, was not bitten. So it was, it was like a flu virus or something. And what happened, they don't know how he turned other than that. And then um, anybody who's sick, and um, Tyrese's girlfriend, I think her name is Catherine or Karen or something like that. I think it's Karen. So, yeah, she's coughing. A lot of people at the count. Well, I'd say just the people in the council knew that she was sick. Some people tell me, oh, it's Rick. He knew. No, he didn't. Well, he burnt his little farm thing up because then he also caught his pigs. He didn't make bacon out of them. He just. To get those zombies away from the gate because they were making the gate collapse. And because of so many zombies. And someone's been feeding them rats. Nasty. Someone also saying that there's that one little girl that's naming the zombies. I told you in the last episode, you don't name them because they'll not your friends. They will eat your damn brain or your throat, whichever one they get to first. Doesn't matter. So they eat up those pigs. Rick comes up with the idea to get the truck and lead them away from it and then drop these three pigs. He'd like cut them and then drop them and then he was like, go, go. Daryl was driving, he said truck, but it was a Jeep. So anyways, obviously two people might be infected. They were sick. So Tyrese goes in there to see her, his little girlfriend, because they were split apart because not didn't want him to get infected. So she had to stay by herself. So I don't know if he got infected also because he was making out with her early on in the episode. But she wasn't coughing then. So it turns out, he's, when he sees the cell, there's blood all over this. And the cell looks like someone been dragged. I thought, oh, maybe she got out and so killing people as a zombie. Well, I don't know if she turned into a zombie or not, but she was dead. She was burnt alive. Some, oh, I don't know, burnt alive, but I think like she was burnt to a crisp. She was fried. Somebody had killed her and the other guy that was sick. And now, I'm thinking it's Herschel who did it. Herschel probably killed her, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's not right. Tyrese was pissed off. He's like, I'm going to find find out who did this. And it wasn't Rick. There's no way, but he's not even part of the council. And I don't even think he knew that she was sick. So, somebody else. And like I said, I'm assuming it was Herschel. Not Herschel Walker, obviously. But that... I don't know who it was, but I'm still not happy. She shouldn't have died like that. 
So the speculation was that maybe she already turned into a zombie and then they had to fry up, but I don't think so. That's about it for this episode. So far I would have to say that this one was better than episode one. It was intense. The zombies got in that cell because of that stupid Harry Potter ripping out someone's throat. And they turned into zombies pretty fast and they started killing people. And actually these two girls, the father, got bit on the arm. And then that one girl, Carol, was going to was gonna um, amputate his arm. But that didn't know what happened. It turns out he, he had some cut on the, or a bite on his neck or something. So she had to kill him. That man, and then now she's the mother, I guess the guardian or whatever of these two kids. Which the older sister seems messed up, and the younger one's like, seems alright, I guess. But who knows who did it? Who's the one that could have done that rat thing where they were putting the rat in the gate like that and having its head bitten off by a zombie? Nasty. Fucking nasty. Don't do that. But anyways, that's it for me, people. Make sure to watch and don't unsubscribe because I'll find out who you are and I will fist pump your face to the ground. Thank you. Bye. Bam, I'm in. <laughs> I messed up. Good to go.